the Russo-Japanese war was fought between the Empire of Japan and the Russian Empire. Between 1904 and 1905, over rival imperial aspirations in Manchuria and the Korean Peninsula. The major military operations areas were in the Liadong Peninsula and Mokden in southern Manchuria. The Yellow Sea and the Sea of Japan, the East Sea. Japan and Russia were in a situation of international confrontation over the leadership of Manchuria and the Korean Peninsula. In particular, with their victory in the Sino-Japanese War, China ceded Taiwan to Japan and took the initiative in Korea. However, what became a problem here was the problem of having China's Liadong Peninsula. Japan, which had won the Sino-Japanese War, was supposed to have China's Liadong Peninsula, but failed due to interference from Germany, Russia, and France. This is known as trilateral interference. Germany, France, and Russia did not help China because they were good, but because they all had interests in China. At that time, Western European powers were trying to hard to gain an advantage in mainland China. In a nutshell, China, a fat pig, was killed and eaten, but the great powers of the West also gathered with knives to slaughter the pig together and share it. From the Japanese point of view, this is totally unfair. Because Japan was trying to occupy the Liaoning Peninsula by sacrificing Japanese soldiers through the war, but the Western powers, who had left their hands and did nothing, intervened and forced the Liaoning Peninsula to be returned, which caused resentment on the Japanese side. Russia had acquired from China the right to build the Dongcheng Railway, which passed through Manchuria to Vladivostok in the Primorsky territory, and even the right to lease in Guangdong province. It was Russia who played an important role in stopping this through interference. Russia acquired the right to build railroads from Manchuria and began to exercise influence over Korea through pro-Russian factions in Korea. Japan could not give up Joseon and Manchuria and attracted allies. At that time, the United States and Britain, especially Britain, were working all over the world to block Russia's policy of moving south. In Asia, it was thought that if Russia moved south, it might threaten British naval hegemony. For a long time, Britain's diplomatic strategy had focused on trying to prevent the emergence of a country with dominant leadership on the European continent and encircling the island nation Britain. Also, Britain couldn't just let Russia try to increase its power in Asia. However, they were far away, so they tried to contain Russia through an alliance with Japan. The US also supported Japan because it wanted to enter the market in China and other European powers that were friendly to it. 
Alliance of Britain and Japan formed an alliance in 1902. In Japan, there was a public opinion that Manchuria would be given to Russia and Japan should have the Korean Peninsula. And this was communicated to Russia, but Russia rejected it. Russia ignored the proposal of such a negotiation from Japan, a small country that did not match its national power. And Russia was aware of the relationship between Britain and Japan. So it could not give up the Korean Peninsula to Japan and the negotiations broke down. At that time, deep-rooted distrust of Russia was formed in Japan after the trilateral interference. In particular, anti-government politicians and the media were at the center, leading to a strong anti-Russian atmosphere. Eventually, Japan decided to go to war and the war began with a surprise attack by Japan. Japan believed that war would be easy only if Joseon was on its side first. So it ignored the Korean Empire's declaration of neutrality and applied pressure to forcefully adopt the Korea-Japan Protocol. On February 9, 1904, the war began with Japan's surprise and preemptive attack. After that, Japan won the Battle of Hill 203 in the Battle of Yosun and the Battle of Bongcheon. Russia was increasingly falling into a quagmire of defeat. And decisively, Japan succeeded in destroying the Baltic fleet in a naval battle in the East Sea of the Korean Peninsula and won the war. Basically, Russia was much stronger economically because Japan borrowed a lot of loans from Britain and the United States for the war and it was risky to borrow anymore. The front lines to be managed were too wide and handled and supplies needed for war such as weapons and animation were running out. Although Russia also suffered continuous defeats, it was possible to risk more because the basic number of troops and military power were greater than that of Japan. Internally, political chaos such as the Bloody Sunday incident deepened tensions and prolonging the war would be the problem. In this reality, the United States wanted to end the war in the moderate way, and the United States was willing to mediate the war between Russia and Japan. At first, they did not accept Roosevelt's proposal, but as both sides faced the situation in which the war could not continue, the Treaty of Postmos was eventually signed. The key contracts of the treaty Number 1. The Russian Empire recognizes the Japanese Empire's authority to guide, protect, and supervise the Korean Empire. Number 2. The Russian Empire cedes the approval of territorial rights to Luzon and Dalian and the right to build railways south of Changchun. Number 3. Russia cedes the Kurut Islands and South Sakhalin Islands south of 50 degrees north latitude 
on condition that the Japanese Empire does not demand any reparations. Number 4. The Russian Empire ceded to the Japanese Empire fishing rights along the Russian coasts in the Sea of Japan, the Sea of Okhotsk, and the Bering Sea. Although it is stated in the Treaty of Portsmouth above, this is actually a policy that favored Japan in Manchuria, and Japan is recognized as a world power in earnest through this war. And in Joshin, where even Russia disappeared after China, Joshin was actually doomed to the tragic destiny of being a Japanese colony. In the early days of the Russo-Japanese War, most believed that Russia would win against Japan. However, the victory of Japan caused a great shock to the international community. Russia internally criticized the incompetent imperial family, saying that Japan could not win. Criticism of the imperial family continued to grow, which later led to the communist revolution. After that, Japan continued its victory in the spirit of the war accelerating its invasion of China and annexing Korea, which later became the prelude to the Pacific War. Thank you for watching the video, The Russo-Japanese War Provided by History and Current Events. I'm Rebecca, Mia, Katie, Leo, and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.